What's going on, YouTubers, gamers, and fellow hobbyists out there? Welcome to On the Beach with Pete, the series that you put on in the background whilst you hobby or paint along with me. Together we get stuff done, we get our hobby done, about an hour of painting or hobbying, whatever you're doing. By the time I edit it down, of course, and take out any long gaps, that tends to take it down below the, uh, the hour mark. But I'm filming for about an hour. Okay, so... What am I going to do today? Well, I just finished the Astro Miller Time Cadian Squad, as you know. And I've got a few things on my desk now to just pick up and do. Um, I've got a few things. Um, so let's, without further ado, get to the bench. But make sure you've got tea, coffee, whatever. Got your glues, your brushes and your models and whatever you need to set up for your, your session. Let's do that and let's head on over to the bench when you're ready. Well, I've got this giant toad frog thing here, which is quite unusual. I saw him on eBay painted and I thought, oh, just look, he just looks good. I thought, yeah, we could do with a, a giant toad thing. Giant monster toad and... Um, in my uh, fantasy role playing, we'll do that. We'll do that. I'm trying to supply a source of base for him. I haven't got one, not a not a fantasy one anyway. Um, got plenty of sci fi ones. A 60 mil base is what he, he would need, but um, for now, I just want to get him sorted out. So, whilst I do that, I need I need something to hold him hold him on to uh, like while I'm painting him you know a holder so to speak uh, I don't know if I've got a suitable one no in my luck I haven't but that's okay and the reason that's okay is because if needs be I'll do him I'll do him without any holder that's that's okay too and possibly one of the bigger ones I've got is kind of that I could put him on there I could I could do that get him on there for now all right we'll do that and then um yeah, we'll get going. But before I do that, I'm going to need to just brush him over a bit because uh, let's get my glasses on here. And I can see a bit more of what I'm doing then. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to... Yeah, like resin. 3D printed. It's a pretty good print, actually, I have to say. I'm looking on his body, actually. I think I can see where all the little nubbin things were that held him to the base of the 3D printer. So that's kind of interesting. I find that fascinating. I may just have to wash him before I go to put any paint on. Yeah, you know, I think I might have to just do that. Hmm. Yeah, because look at him there. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like he's had the the 3D print things on him. He's been, you know, cut off of his um, base on. And that's good. That means they did a good job of cleaning him up. So, as he needs a wash, in my opinion, I mean, a, like, soapy water wash, I'm going to pop him to one side. But I'll put him on this base here, just rest him on it so that I don't forget and tomorrow maybe I can do that right 
uh, where do I start? I'd like to start with this bad boy. Now this is a Ranger from an old Citadel Miniatures box set actually. And the reason I know that, because I used to own the box set. He was one of the miniatures in the box set. So I've, I glued him on this uh, Games Workshop base. And I want to paint him, you know, old school. So uh, as I'm going to be doing that, I'm going to paint him black primer, which is what I would have done in the old days. You know, I would have used I would have used black primer to to prime him. Well, it was a choice of black or white. I don't think when I started there was even grey as a choice of um, you know um, as a choice of priming. Are we? Where are we? Where are we? I have got to look for my primers. I have a big bottle of black. I thought I had a small bottle of black, but I must be mistaken. But I'm going to use Vallejo to surface primer black because I think. Yes, it's harder to see the detail when you put black on. But it's what I would have painted him, how I would have painted him, or how he would have been painted in the early days. So that's how we're painting him now. Um, but yeah, we're just going to straight up use black. So it's intriguing because... Uh, I had this box set of Citadel miniatures. All right. Let's see if we can uh, get some focus going on here. Yeah. So I had this um, this box set of Citadel miniatures. I bought it when I lived in Plymouth, obviously, from a shop called Arcadia. And they were kind of where the there's a, there's a shopping mall in Plymouth now. Um, that's where they were, and it was upstairs, and there was this box of miniatures. And I I was just getting into D and D at the time, and I thought, oh, perfect. It's kind of a little like sort of one of each type of character here. And this was a ranger. And funnily enough, I, I did end up playing a ranger for the longest time. I think I've played a ranger in D&D for longer than I've played any other character class. Probably because it was like one of my first. The actual very first character or character class I played ever in D&D was a halfling. And that was at um, the Dungeons and Dragons Club in school. But it was a halfling. Um, so that was my first ever taste of D&D. &D. Uh, and that was represented by a little like pewter miniature as well. I don't know if it was lead or what, but um, it's a long time ago. So who knows, maybe, I don't know. So there, yeah. <clears throat> so I've covered him. There we are, that's good. Right. And that is as far as I can go with him right now. But the, the, uh, the set had a fighter, a paladin, a wizard. <sighs> Might have been a halfling. It was a female thief. I know that much. I remember that. I'm just going to pop this primer back into the pot, by the way. Yeah, and Citadel Miniatures set. And it was that was a time when you'd get White Dwarf. And, you know, it did, like, fantasy role-playing D&D and stuff like that. It wasn't... I mean, Warhammer, I don't think Warhammer was even a thing back then, you know. 
not even the fantasy stuff. Right, I'm just putting that to one side. Just going to tidy up this brush a bit here. So cleaning up the brush a bit. It's the normal household bar of soap, like I always have. I was only thinking today, I've got to get some more brushes. Because my brushes are kind of... I like to have a few spare, you know, when it comes to brushes. Well, I'm just going to grab some kitchen towel. Nice thick kitchen towel. There we go. And wipe the soap off. There we go. Right, so I put them to one side. That's what I will do. I will put them to one side. But painting in black, yeah, I know it's harder. And I probably paint, you know. In, in a daytime session where I start the paint, the base paints, but, um, you know, looking at him, I want to paint him traditionally as I sort of would have done back in the day had I had the paints and the, um, well, the ability that I have now then. Back in the day, of course, I would have passed him on to my friend Rob who would have painted him up for me. He might, I mean, he might well have done anyway, since this isn't my actual... Uh, figure I had it was um, I'm not saying that yeah it, I've, I've 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 done a lot of things trying to recapture miniatures I've had in the past um, I've I think they got sold those original miniatures sad to say that box set so this is the orc, orc boy. This is the orc that I, I stripped. He was so thickly painted. I, I stripped him. Now he, he is going to have a Panzer Grey, German Panzer Grey uh, Prime. There we go. And the good thing is, summer's on the way. So oh, same brush again. I could have used. I could have not cleaned them out quite so well and gone on with this one. But there you go. So yeah, summer's on the way, and I'll be able to do the spray paint um, in the court in my courtyard. Primes. I'll save the um, building my larger models, such as my um, yeah, Imperial Knights and Chaos Knights, that kind of thing, because I will want to prime them in lead belcher. So, uh, it'd be nice to use the spray, because that's a nice. Nice primer, it goes on well. I'm going to need a tad more of that stuff. So this is this session's all about prepping, really, isn't it? Painting him up here. I couldn't believe how many layers of paint this dude had. And such thick paint and thick varnish, gloss varnish too, and it was like Ooh, I don't know if my paint strip is going to cope with this, but it did. Coped with it swimmingly well, actually, as it happens. I have high praise for it. Very high praise. Anyway, yeah. Enough of that. So I think... I think he's all okay now. Yep. Any more? Not yet. Right, so that'll do for that one. Back to the soap. Back to the cleaning of the brush. Uh, 
to clean the brush up. Now I've got Brother Lucian, which is a Space Marine hero for the Dark Angels there. And I've got to paint him. He's um well he's uh he's a blood angel. So excuse me. It's a late it's late at night, it's a, it's another late session. It's another late one. I should have a series called Another Late One. Let's have some coffee. So yeah, I'm gonna be going Mephisto on red because yeah. Why wouldn't I? Base Mephisto red. Looks like I've got um a few pots of it. <laughs> Right. Try and give this a shake. And I'm going to pop some onto my palette, which is looking like it needs a clean. Yeah, yeah that's him. He's doing okay. Oh, there we are. I'm considering something, by the way. Um, it's not right. Hang on a minute. Let's get that out of the way. All right. Yeah, so as you know, um, I'm putting um, some on the benches out. Um, because in all honesty, my OCD can't cope with the fact that it's not a nice round number. Um, you know, we're not finishing on a nice round figure. My OCD could not to cope with that, so do it a few on the benches. And I thought, well, many a time I have thought, do I actually need to be in shooting this in in like 1080p? These type of videos. I mean, I yeah, I get we're all about getting the quality out there, but these types of videos could probably be done 720, couldn't they? That's just a surmise, of course. But, um, what was I going to say? Yeah, if I'm going back to do them, and I end up putting them out, and um, the plan was to put them out on odd days whenever I, I could, really, then part of my brain is saying, well, surely you, you're, you're allowed to do that in 720p. I don't know. Um, you know, for for this type of video, I mean, you you wanting it in 1080p because that's what you get. Now, funnily enough, some of my older ones get more views and they're nowhere near as higher quality. Which is, I find strange. I find very strange. Okay. So he's coming on, alright. One coat. That's one coat. I'm going back to prepping in a minute. Whilst we're waiting for these to dry. 
when I say prepping, I mean because got these bad boys. Now these are going to be utilised for um, role playing. So we've got Melisande Wave Cutter. Oh, excuse me. I thought she'd make a great pirate captain. Yes, pirates are going to be a thing. Um, so let's open her up. So when it comes to role playing, the fantasy, um, some figures are going to be required sooner than others. Soon, you know, I can tell you that. And I've also got this dwarf cleric here. I've got another dwarf cleric. I mean, he's, he was pretty good. So if I find him, or if I don't find him, then I'll paint this guy up. And if I do, well, oh, great. They could be brothers or something. Right, so we've got to sort these bad boys out haven't we and some files might be um i'll use that knife to tidy up with some files might be useful here well they might be I could probably do um, well there's a flat one that's kind of cool yeah a round one there we go there we go. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> right. So I'm I'm just going around. Yeah, it's a bit more difficult on a metal miniature. I have to say, so if this is plastic, it'd be easy to remove this one. But being as it isn't, being how it ain't, not so easy. Are these jewellers' files. Very useful for sorting out metal miniatures, I find. Get that flat one. Right. Gonna want to brush him off. Ooh. I've got more brushes over my desk, and I think I've got away. I'm in a state of disrepair. Had them for a long time. I seriously could do with a new set of brushes. I really could. Yeah. As my role playing campaign is going to feature the sea ships, pirates, all that kind of thing, um, it seems kind of right to have a character like this. I mean, I don't think she's advertised as a pirate captain, but um, she could be by the looks of her. So like what I'm doing is I'm I'm seeing mold line lines. Very irritating. Right. Now she is looking pretty good. So what I'm gonna do with her let's put her on a lid. Let's put you on a lid, lady. Put a lid on it. Now on to our dwarven cleric. But, um, yeah, you know, um, just gonna have a sip of coffee. Oh, oh yeah. The great thing about these is total freedom, basically, to paint them however I want. I like that. 
but it's for, a, it's a, for an RPG. What do you think? Well, I'll just paint them to what I, I think looks good. So, bank holiday weekend. So my question to you guys is, uh, what do you typically do on a bank holiday at this time of year? Or well, I suppose by the time you see this, what did you do for the bank holiday? I suppose that's a more apt question, isn't it? What did you do? Well, like I say, by the time you see this, it'll be all over. It's all over. I'm just doing the same with this miniature that I was doing earlier on. Trying to brush off the mold release residue, powder residue stuff. Right. I would say now he's ready to go on a base. Oh, look at that, look. Okay. Right, now... I'll put that knife away. Put that knife away, sir. Um... Now, uh, for a pirate, even a pirate lady, pirate captain such as her, I am thinking grey. Because I want to go white, like, I could go white. Hmm. I don't want to be dark. I mean, if I... I got white. Yes, I have. I probably could do <sighs> with some more. I forgot any other um, any other paints hanging around, particularly primers. I'm just curious. Uh, Really, no. no pigments. That's all right. That'll keep. <clears throat> that'll keep. So white or grey? Well, I think we'll go white. Like to make colours bright and. Yeah, I think so. <sighs> what I'm going to do, start making a list of paints, primers, whatever it is, I need that I'm running low on. Because I always forget. Always, always forget. When I'm out or ordering online. Right. The only problem with whites and greys is bubbles. You do get a lot of them. So I'm just um, getting rid of another mold line right there. Okay, right. There we go. Put the white on now. Blanco white. <sighs> Spanish, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. So put a slap in the white on this, basically. We're hoping to iron out all the little the hair bubbles 
This will be a tricky one, I can tell you. I don't know why. I think she might look good with a purple jacket or velvet sort of purple velvet, you know, that kind of thing. Sort of like an aristocratic air about her. Because I can think of her character just doing this, you know. I think to myself, well, what sort of a what sort of a character would she be? What sort of a captain of a pirate ship would she be? <laughs> Right, so, so that, oh my goodness, my poor ranger that I painted earlier, he's not, oh he's come off his base, do you know what, I'm going to file the bottom of that, that's the only trouble with super glue I find, it um, doesn't really hold brilliantly. You drop something. You drop something. You know, it's screwed. It just breaks. All right, so I need him to be still. All right. So what time are we on here? Thirty-four minutes. Ooh. So down to this dwarf. Cleric. I guess grey would be okay to prime him. I think so. Let's see what harm that would do. So I'm just shaking up my grey primer right now. there so they're building an Aldi um, near where I live it's literally just a short walk away over the road in fact uh, everything is over the road for me but it's 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 located in such a way that it's not right on top of each other I know that sounds crazy right but trust me, it is true. <laughs> Everything is a stone throw away. Right, Mr. Cleric. These are just typical of, um, you know, the sort of stuff Reaper puts out. It's typical of Reaper miniatures. I think Reaper miniatures are one of my favourite um, miniature lines for, like, getting stuff for role-playing games and that kind of thing. If you search hard enough, you can... You, you can find a miniature for everything and every occasion through through Reaper. Mm -hmm. There we go. Well, I think that's that. I'm hoping we're in for some nicer weather over the bank holiday. Um, I've heard that Monday's going to be pretty okay. Because we're doing stuff in our garden, you know. Um, and we're not... I'm not able to do stuff in the garden like I used to. I used to have a big garden. And, uh, you know, cutting the grass, that kind of thing. I'll right, have some more coffee right now. 
Yeah, but since coming here, it's a nice little courtyard. We're just making it into a little a mini garden, miniature garden. So it's kind of like working on a diorama on one one scale. That's the way I'm looking at it. Right. <coughs> Excuse me. Choking on my own coffee there. Wow. So this this episode's made me quite tired, I have to I have to say. But um yeah, it's been a pleasure doing these these models. I don't think I'll be able to get anything else done on them today. I don't know about him. Probably not though, it's still a bit wet. Needs a second coat of Mephiston red. And he'll be ready to go. So I think I, mean, I could end it here or I could find some more stuff to do uh, what have I got to do here I'm checking my dark angels I think they just need Dry brushing on the bases, that is. Yeah, we do a bit, of, bit of a dry brush on them, and then we'll be pretty much done, I think. Right, so what do we want here? Long bit grey would be would be splendid. There we go. Long beard grey. Right there. Right, I'll finish this coffee. I think I should have had real coffee, that was decaf. Okay, next next hurdle is what brush am I gonna use? Okay, well there's a the dry brush. All right. So I'll pop my primed models out the way. I've just got five to do here, so. Okay. Pick up the first model. Nice and light. Second model. Yeah. So I got my mum coming around. My mum and my sister actually tomorrow. Uh the Saturday tomorrow. Um it's the bank holiday weekend. And my mum and my sister. Um and we're gonna have salmon. Because my mum's only ever had salmon out of a tin. You see? Oh, this is going well. Okay. And the last one. Well. I think these were from the Dark Vengeance box set when it came out originally. There we are. Well I've done the dry brushing but I could actually do the rims of the bases now I've done that. But um, that's brown so I'm looking for it would be Steel Legion Drab because that's what I typically paint my um, rims of faces in steel legion drab right time to wash this brush out just use this on the soap like so yeah so i've got um as i was saying i've got my my, my sister coming around for the salmon they've been looking forward to it 
and um, and I'm looking forward to having them around. I, lo- I love having people around in my house here now. It's, it's a strange feeling. It's a very strange feeling. Uh, so let's do that. I can pop my files away I think, now. Put them back where they came from. Put that brush back. And get ready to rumble. Steel Legion Drab. Ready ho. Gonna be taking this straight from the pot. Because it's only the rim of a base. That's how it works here. That's how it works. So, finished watching Mandalorian. Is it season three? I don't know. But I finished watching it anyway, and it was, uh, yeah, it's good. I enjoyed it. Baby Yoda or Grogu. He just, can he get, can that dude get any cuter? I don't think so. I don't think he can. Right, so just paint the rims of these. Then these will be good to go. Pretty sure these were um, Dark Vengeance box. That, although that said, it might not be because they're on um, bigger bases. I think they were still on the 25 mil ones and I I got that but I could be wrong I could be wrong well I very often am so how's your week's been then um, mine's been a struggle this week if I'm honest work-wise it's been pretty stressful um, that's to do with frustrating people. Nothing more than that. People frustrate the hell out of me. I don't think I've been 100% well either, which hasn't helped things. And, um,. Yeah, boy, was I glad to get today over with. Oh, I've had tech issues as well. You couldn't log in today oh, until they sorted it out. It's just it's the one thing after another. So. Oh, it's, it's taking it's taking me all day really after work to try and calm down. I think. Well, we went to um, the vegan cafe down on the front. Where we like to go on a Friday. That was that was good. We sat outside today, which was uh, unusual. Got very hot. Had like two pots of tea. Um like a cinnamon swell roll thing that we like. Uh, no, I had, a, I had a, a goat's cheese salad with chilli sauce dip, which is very nice. And uh, Mrs. Minnie also had this cheese toasty. She, she's uh, very fond of the cheese, like, Toasty sandwiches, which is kind of what it is. Yeah, it's very fond of them. She says, I don't know if you like a cheese toasty, but it's so nice. They do do it nice, I have to admit. Get it on the old brown bread. There we go. Right, so. Did I... I'm going to have a look here 
49 minutes. I don't really want to do that one. I'm thinking I'm going to end it here. Oh, I'll take my glasses off. Because it's been a long day. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to end it here. So, thank you ever so much for getting to the end of that. It's uh, not always easy. I, I was struggling. Struggling uh, to talk. Not because I don't have... Mm. I used to say, but because I'm very tired, it's been a long day, it's been, it's been a long week, it's been, it's, it's been a long everything, <laughs> this week's just been, this week's been not my favourite, not, not pleasant, um, uh, I've been, but I've been like, you know, when the postman knocks on the door for a package, because I know I've ordered stuff. That's kind of like the highlight of the day, I think. <laughs> Ooh, what have I got delivered today? Sort of thing. Do you ever get that? Uh, anyway, there we go. Right, so let's end this here. Um, thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe and all that stuff. All that YouTube stuff. It all helps. Helps me with the YouTube algorithms. Helps me keep going to get the motivation to keep going. You know. Um, ah. Not that I'm saying, oh, I won't do this if I don't get any views. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is when I do get the views and the comments, it, it makes it easier. It makes it a little easier. Anyway, enough jibber-jabber. Thanks for watching. Remember on Brushlessly Tour, I'll see you guys on another video. Bye for now. Bye-bye.